Hi Pisces! This is going to be your art channeled message and reading. I channel messages through art, music, really anything that I feel guided to do. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross watchers are welcome too. Or whoever wants to watch this, I really don't have any rules when it comes to my readings. But yeah, I was going to draw an eye for you Pisces. But then it formed into a waist. An hourglass shape. I'm getting body image issues. That vibe throughout this whole reading is just straight body image. Or at least trying to work on your body image. It's the pressure specifically to have a certain attribute. That's what I was seeing with this when I drew the skinny, the skinny waist. Kind of like, don't like to say this, but an Instagram model or someone who just photoshopped it. That's what I was seeing and that's what I also drew. The pressure to have an attribute you don't have. Pressure, pressure, pressure. I'm seeing weight loss regimen, like the pressure to lose weight, the pressure to be healthy, the pressure to be a completely different person. Dieting pressure, like, you're having a lot of trouble doing that or sticking to it. It's just not working for you. And I feel like you also don't see yourself as healthy or beautiful in your own form. With the eye I was getting, when you look into the mirror, you don't love the reflection. You don't like what's being reflected back to you, but in a physical sense. And for some of you, I'm actually getting a not so bad thing, like, I am healthy, I have big boobs, I have a skinny waist, so that's what you were saying to yourself. Like, you know, posit positive affirmations for body image, it's kind of like a manifestation, but like, you know what, I have a nice waist, I, I have nice hair, I have just love language. <laughs> It's a really weird way to put it, like love language towards your body. Appreciation. Kind of reminds me of that rice trick. I don't know if that actually works, is where you speak nice to the rice, it's white, <laughs> and then when you don't speak nice to the rice, it gets all dirty and brown, rotted. It's really weird, but same idea. It's like speak nicely to yourself, because a lot of you aren't speaking nice to yourself right now. I have a, um, it's like a think yourself thing scenario. Instead of putting immense pressure on yourself, you're trying to love every curve, every imperfection, while as before you didn't always do that. Or this could also be two separate sets of people. This is something you struggled with before, but you're actively trying to work on it now. Waste is very sig significant here, Pisces. It's like you want to love your stomach area more. Your natural curves, once again, you could have a natural curve in your stomach, or this could also even be hip dips. That's what, I, that's what I'm thinking, like, that's the only other curve I can think of that's in your stomach area. Or maybe it could even be your pouch. The stuff that's right, like, near your abdomen area could be really insecure about that, or it could just be your overall shape. But with the other group of you, I sense straight up body dysmorphia. You're seeing yourself in a distorted way that's not necessarily true. Like, spirit wants you to see, or at least try to see, the beauty in you. The beauty in your current form. It's kind of like living in the moment. You gotta, you gotta accept your body in all forms too. Even if you did want to get healthy or lose weight, you won't get there any faster by putting pressure on yourself or shaming yourself. I think that's the whole point here. And a lot of you are starting to realize that it's a wake up call. It's like, what am I doing to myself? You know? So perhaps that's the mirror exercises I was seeing you do in the mirror. I was literally seeing someone do that. Or even those sticky note things I was seeing as well. That's good, as, that's good too. Like, you wake up to that every day and you see what you put in the mirror. 
as a reminder to keep going. It's like, what if I already am beautiful? Putting pressure on me to change instead of loving myself in every form will not make me feel better. Trigger warning. I know body image is a sensitive topic. It doesn't ever magically disappear, per se. But with every problem, there are good coping mechanisms. That's the word I felt drawn to. There are good coping mechanisms and self-love strategies. That's only the word I heard, or like I felt urged to say, self-love strategies. That's a lot of Pisces are trying to use their own self-love strategies, and I commend that. That could be anything. It could even be a special one for you I don't know about. Where you put sticky notes on the mirror, or you admire your body in the mirror, or you even, like, touch that curve, or... It's like, <laughs> this is almost so weird, but, like, running your hands through your body and going, like, wow. There's just... There's really nothing I want to change about this. Also, I wanted to draw, draw attention to comparing your body to others. A lot of you have been doing that. I'm, I'm seeing mostly social media. It's very problematic on social media with that kind of thing. It's so easy to compare our bodies with a fake one or compare our lives with someone else's highlight reel are behind the scenes with someone's highlight reel. So be wary of that too, Pisces. There are many unrealistic standards that are forced on us every day, and that's where pressure, pressure, pressure comes into play again, because that's all it is, is pressure and social pressure to be someone we're not. And it's really sad. And that's what I'm picking up with this whole thing. I think I'm gonna pull out, I'm gonna shuffle the cards like on camera. I haven't done reversals in a long time. Like usually when I get the upfront card anyway, I the way I feel is practically the same thing, but sometimes I do miss doing reversals. So I get the full details of the reading. So I think I'm gonna do that. Actually first Pisces I'm gonna do an oracle card. I haven't used oracle in such a long time. So let's see what we have here. Mm. Okay. Milk and honey. Whenever I look at this, I think of sour and sweet or like two opposites coming together. It's like you never would have thought. Ooh, and then there's a, there's a little face that's like almost invisible, but it's right by the rainbow. It's like when you look in the mirror now, when you see your reflection, you see something you like. Like you're, someone's happy when they look in the mirror. And remember I said like body image or insecurities will never go away. You can't just be like, wake up every day and be like, I'm perfect. Nothing's bothering me. I'm never ever going to be insecure again because that's just unrealistic. It's like sour and sweet. I think like, it's kind of like yin and yang. Like sometimes I'll feel bad about myself, sometimes I'll feel good about myself, but what matters is a balance or a middle ground. Proper coping mechanisms. That's what this is. You found a self-love strategy that you like and it's making you happy and it's working. It's like casting a rainbow over yourself. I almost said over your aura. It's like you're bathing in the light. You're finding your light. I feel like you are the light too. Like you're so, you're so bright right now and it's all because you feel more confident. It's like you look like that. You look like the sun with how the candle reflects on my artwork. That's literally you right now. So bright. Learning how to balance the good and the bad. Good and, good and bad self-talk. Because it's not always going to be perfect. But as long as you try. As long as you take the pressure off of yourself. It's all worthwhile. Ooh, and on here is five and one is six. Six to me is always, res almost said restoration. I don't think that's a word, but balance restored once more in harmony. Like you're happy again. You're finding a way to 
finding something that works for you that won't almost like lead to a breakdown. Do you know how um, unhealthy eating is promoted as well? It's like once you get into that path, you almost never get results because everyone wants quick, quick, quick. But you're not actually addressing the main problem, which is you gotta be nicer to yourself. You gotta accept what your body is now, even if you do wanna improve your body or change the way it looks. It's like, I'm beautiful now and I'll be beautiful then, <laughs> whatever that may be. But right now, I'm gonna find better coping mechanisms. Okay, I'm gonna move that out of the way. Actually, I'm gonna put it like right here. Put it by the candle, it's probably gonna burn. So, milk and honey, sour and sweet. It's not always perfect, you just gotta find a balance. Hmm. So overall energy, it's this happy energy. It's like no more pressure on me. Well, I'm not going to do it one by one. I'm going to be doing it like a, I do my own spreads that I usually do and then I put it on the back, like the overall energy. I'm going to do that. Ooh, first card out is the Ace of Cups. It could also be new love, but I'm seeing this is a self-love journey. This is a new beginning for you. Your cup is overflowing with love, but this love is for yourself. So I feel like someone's looking in the mirror, cry, like crying, te crying tears of joy. Like, look how far I've gotten. Like a year ago, I literally hated myself. Or a year ago, I literally wanted to be a whole different person. A year ago, I cried when I looked in the mirror. First card out is most powerful, so that's what I'm seeing. It's wild. And before, before this came out, I was literally about to say, like, it's like someone's, it's like a gift or a new beginning, like a handout. And then look, Six of Pentacles. Pisces, I feel like you're having help right now. It's like someone's reaching out to you or you reached out to someone else. And also, what did I say about balance? Oh, I'm thinking of that rice thing I was talking about again. When you speak nice words to the rice, it stays healthy, it stays white, it doesn't go bad. But then when you speak negative things to the rice, it's neglected, it just rots and kind of like expires like food does. But then look on this side, that person's getting it all. I'm seeing this is the positive side, the affirmations. It's like looking in the mirror, doing sticky notes or whatever helps you and then over here is like you're abandoning the bad days of course it doesn't mean you don't have some of the two but mostly it's been this way at least lately this is the energy you've been in this week this month just giving back to yourself everything's so much more balanced you're much more balanced emotionally too I'm also picturing this image of, it's like the water stopped. It's like you're not letting the water out, you're not letting it flow. The pressure builds up, I'm thinking like water pressure, and then it just explodes. It's like you're, you're releasing the pressure to fit in or be what you've wanted to be, could be for years. This is a huge change or a huge shift. Huge shift in perspective. It's like I'm seeing myself differently. Could have also had help, like, um, what am I trying to say? You had a good influence on your back. Could be people saying things like, I believe in you, or you are beautiful. Just receiving a lot of maybe nice compliments. A lot of help from people. On your bad days, that could be what that is. Like, when you have a bad day once in a while, everyone's always there for you. Or you have that one person that 
doesn't mind speaking about it. Because that's what I'm seeing with the King of Swords. It's like, don't be afraid to talk about it. I feel like that's what it was too, that wall. It's kind of like a dam that holds the water and you're not letting it out. Like, the water's blocked off. It's like there's a drought. You weren't letting yourself feel. Because <laughs> just look, look at that face. It looks nervous like he's about to blow. Someone definitely had a bit of a breakdown. And that breakdown led to this realization that it needs to stop. I'm going to pull the rest of the cards and I'm going to get into the spread together. Ooh, Nine of Cups reversed. It's like so something is no longer a wish fulfillment, a dream. It's like maybe I'll never have my dream body. Maybe the one I have is my dream body. Okay, three cards and then bottom of the deck. Page of Wands reversed. Hmm. With the world, I'm literally looking at this like a, a circle mirror. It's like looking at yourself in the mirror. And look, she's looking to the side. Like she she's trying to avoid her reflection. Like, She's protected around her, but then there's all these things. I see this as like the media, the pressures, the, what's the word? Peer, yeah, peer pressure, social pressure, just all these things like TV, models, celebrities, pop culture. That's what all of this is. It's like this fixed mindset. If you're not this, you're not worthy. You're, that's that's you also trying to avoid it it's all over the world it's never going away but what does help is being aware to the programming it's like I'm not gonna look at this I'm not gonna believe this I don't have to be this wow <laughs> look two of swords it's like I'm not looking I'm not going to look I'm going to free myself from this I'm gonna reach a middle ground I, you also can't avoid it completely. But then there's two. Twos are balance. I'm also seeing that as balance as well. Page of Wands is usually like good news, a messenger. And then reverse, it's like... I'm thinking like overall, this is there's bad news. Or you having that... I'm getting like a huge like breakdown or emotional realization. Like an explosion of some sort. It's like... Maybe it took some harsh words or harsh criticism. It's like, why are you always talking down at yourself? This is King of Swords. I'm also seeing that as you mostly, Pisces. But I'm also seeing it as someone that's being a little sharp with you. It's like, look. This needs to stop. Letting something rule your life. I really love this so it's like that's no longer my dream that's no longer my fixation it's like a fixed energy <laughs> leo and taurus that's funny it's like it's a fixed mindset that everybody has and you're trying to stray away from it or at least create a balance well, it's good to, to be inspired like i admire people or i see something but it doesn't mean i have to compare myself with it observe it don't compare <laughs> i feel like that's a good lesson too like Just never do that. I don't know how to. I can't really put more emphasis on it than I already am. Also, I remember this one trick. I feel like I should really say that. I think I was watching a video, and this girl said instead of finding celebrities you want to look like and putting unrealistic pressures and shame on yourself, try to find a celebrity that has the same body type as you. It's like if they can find the right clothes the right way to dress, they can love themselves. Doesn't mean they're perfect, they probably have a bad days just like you. Why can't I? It's like they're not super skinny, but they find a way to keep going, you know? <laughs> skinny, big, all shapes and sizes. We come in all different shapes and sizes. With the world I think of infinity as well. 
full circle. <laughs> Many different people or things in this card as well. Telling you what you should be or what you should look like. And Pisces, you're definitely breaking away from this cycle. Because the world is also a brand new cycle and the end of an old one. An end of an end of the old one. I almost st stuttered. I'm still stuttering. What the fuck? It's not letting me get it out. It's definitely an end of a cycle. So maybe that's what it, the stuttering was like. The hesitation, the refusal to, the refusal to see what you're doing, or how you're treating yourself. Kind of like the rice thing where you speak bad to it and it. I I honestly want to try that. Like, is that real? Does that actually work? And I think people have tried it with plants too, like good energy versus bad energy. But then when you balance them out, it's kind of like yin and yang. You can't have light without dark. Interesting. I think I'm going to get one more oracle card and then I'm going to wrap this up. It's like, how is Pisces going to deal with this in the future or even right now? Because I'm seeing a huge improvement co-create looks like two different species come together to form a new one two different people remember I said love your current form because you're about to step into a new one anyway it's, it's like you can you can exercise, you can lose weight, but the intention behind it matters. You don't want it to start off on a weak foundation or a negative one, like, I want to lose weight, or I want to be this because I want people to like me, I want people to accept me. No. The way I see it is the cheetah, it's very fast, very, it's bigger. And then look, the owl is much smaller. But it also looks like a bird's eye view, like it's at a different perspective. It's all about perspective. Some people might want your body, you might want their body. And then look here, it's like a perfect mix. So a lot of you are, are going to come to a perfect conclusion with that. Like, I might not be this, I might not be that, but as long as I find the balance. That's really funny, it's like yin and yang is very huge on this reading. Sour and sweet. Bad days, good days. But ultimately, I'm going to find a way to get through this. I'm going to co-create. I'm going to also co-create with spirit. Work with spirit. You're never alone. You're not the only one going through things like this. You're not the only one that... I'm getting to, like, you feel like you have to look away or hide just so you don't maybe compare yourself or see things you don't like. Hmm. It's like co-create, balance, the, basically balance the good with the bad, happiness with sadness. I'm also getting with the cheetah, like, don't rush anything. You can't rush healing, you can't rush dieting, you can't rush... Also, you can't rush happiness, you can't fake happiness, so just take your time and go take it easy on yourself. With owls, I think wise, independent, even if you have to go on this journey alone, do that. Okay, Pisces, that's the end of your reading. I hope you liked it. Please like, subscribe. Make sure you're practicing your self-love strategies. It's really funny. It's like a synonym. Or, is that, or isn't that alliteration? It's alliteration, yeah. Self-love strategies. Three S's. Just make sure you're doing that. Okay, guys. Bye.